Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where have you been? You've been oh. all week. I was just setting up the new prank for Prank Petrosky. Well, what's the prank gonna be? Well, you'll see. Roll Prank Petrosky 4. Previously on Prank Petrosky. So I know this teacher, uh, Petrosky. We are gonna put sticky notes around his office. No! You guys know about uh, Prank Petrosky? It's coming back. Coming to you right now. He put saran wrap on his door. Come over here. Come over here. So here's what's happening. Evan wants to shock. Will, he wished for a girlfriend once. And now, on to the show. Brad, uh, do you want to look at this camera real quick? It looks really familiar. This is the camera from Prank Petrosky. Sweet mother of Puri. Hello? Hey, it's Evan and Mo from the Prank Petrosky crew. The Prank Petrosky crew? I thought you guys were dead! Where are you guys? All you have to do is turn around right behind you. You know what I'm thinking? It's time to prank Petrosky. Whatever what happened, nobody knew. But Mark and Will Evan are back as a crew. They need a prank fast, real quick, like a mouse. Maybe pieing his face or egging his house. Wait, we shall egg his house! But Mark knows an acquaintance, someone real nice, that's able to lend them their blowing device. Mark needs that leaf blower. So he travels out of town. Well, Will and Evan talk about the prank. Hey, viewers, Band Kids here. A leaf blower weighs roughly 3.6 kilograms, but it can exert a force that can push the average human being male across two football fields. In May, there's going to be a plague for Beauty and the Beast. Trotsky and us are practicing a lot of the music. It's very hard. There's a lot of paper that goes with this practicing. Not only are we going to blow his papers around, we will create a devastating windstorm and be just like King K. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of nerds. Anyways. <laughs> I got the leaf blower, so let's get to the prank. As you can see, Petrosky's doing some uh, musical stuff and singing little songs. I use antlers in all of my decorating. So what's gonna happen is that Will and Evan are in the guitar room, and when I give them my cue, they're gonna cut. Coming to you is the prank. What are you guys doing? Mark, Will, and Evan, I'm playing the cue. Sweet mother of fury. <laughs> to conduct the Beauty and the Beast musical for May 8th to the 10th! Ha! Ha ha! You guys are in it! Ha ha! What's wrong with you? It's not like we look at the conductor anyway. Ha 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 ha! Hey, there we go. Woo! Hey! Ha ha, you stink. You gotta stop bullying, Mark. It's Pink Shirt Day. We're here to stop bullying. I think you two should go play on the highway. Yeah, you should go bungee jumping with other one zero. That's not nice. Stop bullying. Have a pink shirt. Why do we have to wear pink shirts? I'm not wearing a pink shirt. Have you heard the story about the boy who wore a pink shirt on the first day of school and got bullied for it? And the next day his friends wore a pink shirt to school? On February 28th, it's Pink Shirt Day, so wear your pink shirts. We will be selling shirts in the hub at lunch. Hey everyone, we're from the Sullivan Heights Grade 10 Community Leadership Class. On February 27th, we'll be holding an event for Pink Shirt Day. 
Pink Shirt Day is to prevent and aware people of bullying, all sorts, all sorts of bullying. On February 27th, at lunch in the Hub, we will be holding games and food. Please come out and help raise a voice against bullying. Thank you. I'm Mark, and I'm Gavin. Have a stellar day.